So, and this is the continuation of addition and subtraction under what? The modulus word arithmetic or modular arithmetic. Now, they gave you, they gave you some people used to see this kind of question, it's still the same. But this one used to come what? In a tabular form. Now, the question is complete the table below for what? Addition to what? Modulus word 5. And remember that we have already been restricted to what? 5. And our range is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Please, if you are not with me, the part 1 is already on our channel. Endeavor to watch it to catch up with what? This is the part 2 under additional subtraction. Now, so this is the range of the value. So the only thing we have to do here is what? This 0 plus 0 is what? 0. 0 plus 1 will give you 1. 0 plus this will give you 2, 3, and 1, 4. Right? Because anything you plus 0, you still get the same number. You see now? Good. Now, you now go to the second column. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1, 2. 1 plus 2, 3. 1 plus 3 is what? 4. 1 plus 4 is 5. I can't put 5 here. These are arranged. And then what about the video? If this, you are watching this for the first time. And then what about the part 1? So this is 5, so this is 5, we have to divide it by what? 5. And 5 will go into 5 what? Once. Remember of what? 0. Right? And we say we are really interested in the word 0. So what I'm going to put here is what? 0. So 2 plus 0 is what? 2. This plus this will give you what? 3. This plus 2 plus 2 will give you 4. 2 plus um, 3 will give you 5. 5 divided by 5 will give you 1 comma 0, so you have 0 here, right? Good. This plus this will give you 2, this will be 2 plus 4 will give you 6, right? Now, the verses in modulus 5, you divide, it, you divide by 5, this will go into this is what? Uh, 1, remainder of what? 1. So I'm going to tie our remainder, which is what? 1. So you put 1 here, right? Good. Now, 3 plus 0 is what? 3. 3 plus 1. 4, right? 3 plus 2 will give you 6. And we already saw it that we have a remainder of what? 1. 3 plus. No. 3 plus 4, 1. 3 plus 2 is 5. And the one of 5, we have a remainder of what? 0. Now, 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 divided by 5 is 1 remainder of 1. So we take 1, right? Now, you now have 3 plus 4. 3 plus 4 is 7. But since it's in modulus 5, we have to divide by what? 7. And 5 is going to go to 7 into what? 1. Remainder of what? 2. Right? So this plus this is 7. But what we're going to put is what? 2. Now, 4 plus 0 will give you what? 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. What we're going to put is what? Because we're already doing 5 divided by 5 is 1. Remainder of 0. I'm going to put 0 here. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 divided by 5 will give you 1 remainder of 1. So you put 1 here. Remember, what we're taking is what? Our remainder. So 4, 4 plus 3 is what? 7. We have already solved it. So you take 2 here. So 4 plus 4 is what? 8. 8 divided by 5 will give you what? 8 divided by 5 what? 1. Remainder of what? 3. Right? Good. So 8 to 25, 1. We will have a remainder of 3. So what we're going to put here is what? 3. So, um, and please note, like I said, the rate is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. You can see that everything here, that the highest is what? 4. So we are on the right track. So remember in modulus 5, all you have to do is solve it this way. And if you have an issue with this my table, Please, endeavor to watch part one. I've already introduced what this is all about. It's so simple and so easy. So, under, um, this is, remember, subtraction. You can see it here. So, um, they gave us this table and that we should complete it, right? So, the first thing I would like, you have to do is, I want to demarcate the line in order to avoid confusion. So, I'm going to do it like this. So that we know where my values are going into. So um, I want you to know something. This is the first side, and this is the word second side, right? So I'm going to be minusing second from the first. What I'm saying is zero minus zero will give you 
zero. Zero minus one. Are you with me? I'm, I'm going to have zero minus one is minus one. But remember, we can have minus. Remember, this is the modulus four. So my range is zero comma one comma two comma three, right? So there's no minus here. But you don't have to be scared or anything. All I have to do is what? Plus four is going to be what? Three, right? So easy, like I told you. I told you guys this thing is very easy. So like I said, so this is what? Three, right? Good. Now, zero minus two will give you minus two. So plus four, you have what? Two, right? So here is two. Zero minus three is what? Minus three plus four. Where are you going to get one? So you have one here. And you see, it's so easy. Right? Good. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to continue. One minus zero is going to give us one. One minus one is zero. One minus two will give you minus one plus four is going to be what? Three. Right? So here is three. One minus three. It's going to be minus 2 plus 4, so you're going to get what? 2. So this plate is what? It's 2. Are you with me? So I'm going to continue. 2 minus 0 will give you 2. 2 minus 1, you have 1. 2 minus 2, you have 0. But 2 minus 3 is what? Minus 1. So minus 1 plus 4 is equal to what? 3. Are you with me? So here is 3. So we, we go on the same way. 0, 3 minus 0. We give you 3. This 3 minus 1 will give you 2. 2, 3 minus 2 will give you 1. 3 minus 3 will give you 1. 0. So remember our range. Our range is 0, 1, 2, 3. So you can see that our table fall within our what? Our range. Are you guys with me? This is so, so easy. So.